Man, do I have some exciting, exclusive news on the new Air Force by Soundpeats. Mind blown. Welcome back to the Brannon No D channel. Here we are all gathered together once more on yet another weekend. The month of August is just flying by. It's almost over, fam. Fall is upon us. Oh my God. Uh, hence, Bohan. What the hell are we covering? Oh, yeah, that's right. The brand new Air Fours by Soundpeats. Does this company ever sleep? I mean, how many models do they kick out in a year? However, you are going to like these, I promise you. So let's go ahead and get started with what comes in the box. All right, you'll get a user manual in a few different languages. Uh, I mean, do you really need a Soundpeats manual by now? Probably not, because most of you, I would assume, own about four or five different pairs since they make so many and they pretty much all work the same. Also coming to the box is a USB-A to a USB Type-C charging cable, which again is short. I sound like a broken record. Oh, and check this out, guys. I don't know if you saw it in the intro, but they actually have this compartment for a silicone earbud gel tips that have uh, no silicone earbud gel tips. Did they miss the memo? Uh, no, actually they did not. They just made the compartment, but they are not coming with silicone earbud gel tips. And lastly, you're going to get the case. And again, I love the feel. The texture is a matte finish, very pocketable, like I like to say. On the back, you're gonna get this bronze foiled plate with Soundpeats logo on it, but also works as the hinge. Attention to detail. On the front, you're gonna get the Bluetooth sync button, and just above that, you'll get the LED battery percentage. On the bottom, you'll get the USB Type-C charging port. All right, let's go ahead and open the case. There, you're presented with the earbuds that fit down into the case, and of course, we have to give the Brannon No D gravity test. Just wouldn't be the same video without it. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, there's one. And two. You know, that's quite unfortunate. I, I really am surprised. I thought for sure they'd seat in place because they go down in the case. But you know what? No pun intended. Hey, what the hell? Pun intended. This time, it's not the case. All right, since they've already exited with the help of myself, let's go ahead and try them on and show you how they fit. Now again, these don't have any silicone tips. So if you are one of those persons that prefer earbud gel tips, there's no sense of going any further in this review because you're not gonna get any. You're not gonna get any aftermarket ones that fit on these as well, I don't think. Well, maybe you could, but as far as I know, no bueno. Just stick them in the ears, it's that simple. They sit in there just like any AirPods that you may be familiar with. Very nice, they fit just fine. They don't feel like they're gonna fall out of the ears or anything, but you know, when you get sweaty, 
working out and things like that, they could. They could get wet and they could slip out. Some people have problems with this type of style. I personally don't have that problem. Could you lay yourself down on a pillow? No, they're a stem style. Of course not. You're going to get some ear fatigue if you lay on a flat surface. But other than that, that's what they look like. And I think they're quite stylish. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them, shall we? Guys, these are extremely light in the hands. I know I say that about a lot of earbuds, but these are definitely featherweight. On the front of the buds, you're going to get that very cool looking Superman logo. And you know, I really like their new logo. I'm digging it. Do you guys love it or hate it? Drop me a comment. Now, if you guys have noticed, the stems are made of this flat black, just like the same material as the case. However, when you rotate them and look at the earbuds themselves, you're gonna get a glossy material. Now I'm wondering, is that going to help them stay in the ears maybe? It's a possibility. Here you're gonna see the bronze drivers along with the silver metal contact points. And here the microphones on the side, top and bottom. You actually get a very hard to read right and left and print. Oh, and by the way, they actually go in right and left this time on the case. I don't know if you guys saw the last Sound Pete's video I did. Yeah, they always seem to mix that up. This time, they didn't. They just have to rotate 180. They always gotta make something challenging for us, don't they? What do you say we nerd out with me and cover the specs? The Sound Pete's Air 4 are using the latest Snapdragon sound with their Qualcomm Aptix lossless Kodak support. You'll be able to enjoy Aptix Adaptive HD and Aptix Low Latency delivering precision sound with a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz transmission rate. Oh. Immerse yourselves in a CD-level auditory journey with wireless lossless audio. <laughs> now, of course, this is their words. Definitely not mine. The Air 4s are sporting a 13 millimeter large dynamic drivers that will deliver more affluent, move vibrant sound and sufficient bass, amplifying your audio experience to new heights. <laughs> Again, this is their words. Coming with Bluetooth 5.3. Now I'm seeing most all of the earbuds that have landed in my studio as of late are supporting the 5.3. However, you'll get multi-point connection, which is fantastic. You'll be able to connect to two different devices at the same time. Huge convenience. And all this is going to be achieved with their QCC3071 chipset. They're also kicking in gaming mode with a 88 millisecond of low latency response. Oh, you nerds are in for a treat. Now, as far as the call quality, they have six mics of CVC noise canceling quality. And of course, we'll be giving that the test a little later in the review. So stick around, you'll probably want to hear it. They're also coming with 26 hours of playtime on the case and six hours on the buds. Okay, I've seen a lot bigger and better uh, in the many reviews I've done. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not, especially once you guys get to the price, which we're gonna hold off until the end. But uh, yeah, it's nothing to brag about. Six hours on the buds and 26 on the case, not so much. Oh, and uh, also no 10 minute fast charge. Now that my friends is unfortunate. I would love to see a 10 minute fast charge on something with lesser battery percentage because we as human beings, are forgetful. There's a lot of shit going on in our heads <laughs> these days. So we might forget to charge them and to be able to throw them on a 10 minute charge and get two hours on the fly is clutch. And here you thought I was going to do nothing but brag about these earbuds. Nope, I'm honest. Now, as far as the IPX rating goes, there isn't, or at least I haven't found it. Yet. I'm sure there is one, so let's go ahead and assume it's probably an IPX4 rating. Should be just fine for water splashes, sweating on them, of course, jogging, exercising, things like that. You just don't want to submerge them. Completely. And lastly, they give us the Soundpeats app, which is, I'd like to say, still under construction when it comes to comparing to the Soundcore app. Speaking of the app, let's go ahead and cover that next. All right, assuming you've already downloaded the Soundpeats app, go ahead and open it. 
First thing we're gonna do is click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner. First thing you see is upgrade firmware. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Click on that and then click on upgrade and come back and see me. I'll be waiting. All right, now that we're all freshly up to date on our firmware, let's go ahead and cover the homepage. Here you'll see printed Soundpeats Air 4 along with both the right and left battery percent. And then you'll get a nice diagram of the buds themselves. Let's click on the three EQ bars down in the lower left corner. At the top, you have the volume control that you can slide high or low. Under that, you have the adaptive EQ. Now, I always suggest to everybody, take the test, okay? It's only three minutes, it's no big deal. You might actually like it, or you may not. In that case, let's click on the EQ preset. Here, you'll have nine different preset genres from Soundpeats Classic, Bass Boost to Bass Reduction, Electronic, Fashionable, to classical music, rock and roll, to folk, and treble enhancement. And of course, if you're still not completely satisfied, you pain in the ass, go ahead and click on Custom EQ next. It'll have 10 beautiful bands to slide up or down to suit your special hearing desires. Ooh. Under that, you have Noise Reduction. Wait a minute. How the hell do you have noise reduction with a set of earbuds that don't have any silicone earbud gel tips? They actually embedded noise cancellation in these. Oh my God. That's bananas. I have never seen any manufacturer make an earbud style like this without the earbud gel tips and put noise cancellation on them. And they work. Yeah, that's right. I've tested them earlier on and they work. It's not knock the ball out of the park by any means, but it definitely works, okay? People might wanna cut out that little bit of background noise. You're gonna be able to do it with these. I can only hope that every manufacturer that makes this style earbud does that. Well done, Soundbeats. Under that, you'll have game mode that I mentioned earlier. And lastly, you get the disable all functions mode on or off. Another clutch feature that I wish all companies would do on their apps is have that button because you could be working out pretty heavily. You could be moving around a lot. You may accidentally bump or poke those earbuds and this is going to prevent anything from changing if you're really into that song or podcast. Speaking of controls, you'll be super stoked. You can control everything from play pause, volume up or down, forward and reverse a track, engage in ANC and gaming mode, answer and end calls. So pretty much everything. Now, even though you can't go back into the app itself and adjust the controls and how you want them to work, like double tap, triple tap, things like that, you'll still be able to do it on your earbuds. Since we have them in the ears, let's run ourselves a music test next. All right, today's song is actually from a different platform. You guys have never heard me ever say Soundstripe. And to be completely honest, it's my third royalty-free platform that I'm using now currently, but I paid for this one myself. They did not reach out to me, no affiliations whatsoever with them, but I am gonna throw them a plug because I'm pretty impressed with this platform. My song choice today kind of falls in with the fall atmosphere, if you will. It's called Western With It by Real Life. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's that's incredible. It's loud, guys. Wow, is that loud. And crisp. All right. Okay. Very, very impressive. Uh... The sound that's coming out of these guys, you are going to be completely blown away. I promise you, no lie. For, for a non-silicone tip, 
that seals the ear canal, if you will, to give you that deeper bass. You don't need it. You don't need it with these at all. Wow. Okay, let's stick them back in and test out those six mics for the mic test. Obviously, just above us, we have the professional mic. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear how the Sound Pete's Air 4 sound right now. Six mics working their thing, guys. How do I sound? Of course, I won't know. And of course, this test never really puts them through the limits. Let's try an ambient restaurant noise to boost our test. Now, this is what it would sound like if we were in a noisy environment. Now, how are the six mics performing? Are they canceling out that background disturbing noise? Are you able to hear me talk clearly? Of course, I won't know until I get in post. I'll be right back. So you be my honest. Okay. All right. I have been in post, and I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest, okay? I've done really good reviews doing the mic test with some earbuds, and I've done some other tests where they really sounded crummy. I'm going to say these landed right in the middle. They were decent enough to receive and make phone calls, but that's about the bottom line, okay? There's nothing really huge to brag about. I'd say the sound of these are much more worth bragging about. Let's hit up the pros and cons next and get you guys on your merry way. Pro number one, what do you guys think it's going to? If you thought sound, you'd be right. The sound that comes out of these is 100% incredible. From the deep bass all the way to the mids and highs, all the way down to the lows. And like I mentioned, without the ear gel silicone tips. Incredible. And I guess obviously it's from them using the large 13 millimeter dynamic drivers, the Aptics lossless sound, and the Qualcomm 3071 chipset. It's just a complete package for such a light pair of nothing major going on here with the earbuds on the outside. I mean, they are as simple as they come. They look like a pair of AirPods to me without that hefty price. And we mustn't forget another pro is something that we have never seen before, guys. Not, not that I have anyway. And that is noise reduction on a pair without the silicone ear gel tips. Boy, if I say that one more time, I know by now you're sick of it. And the last pro is gonna be oh, the incredible price. But we aren't going there just yet. Let's talk about some cons first. Con one, could have been a better battery percentage, right? It's got, what, 26 on the case, six hours on the buds. I've seen better. And especially with the short little cord they include and they don't give you wireless G charge. That's right, guys, no Bob's your uncle this time around. And no 10 minute fast charge to boot. So yeah, there are cons. In fact, the last con, it just plain might not be for you. The style without the silicone tips, I can positively say won't matter at all with these, but some just can't get comfortable without having that security in the ear canals. Let's cover the retail and blow your minds. Now, first and foremost, I am not sponsored by Sound Pete's whatsoever, okay? They have sent me plenty of their products for me to review for you guys, but they ask only my honest opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. That being said, I will be dropping you an Amazon affiliate link down in my description below. Yes, I get a kickback. It's certainly not huge, but it definitely helps me and the channel grow in making you guys these reviews on the weekends. Retailing for $79.99. Now I'm gonna tell you straight up, $80 for this pair of earbuds after listening to them, after seeing all the features, is definitely worth every penny. But you're not gonna pay that. Right off the get, you're gonna get a $20 box click. That's right, click it guys, takes $20 off. Now we're talking $59.99. That's right, $60. Oh, they are definitely worth $60, which you're still not gonna pay that. That's right, use the code SPARE4KL. Now you got until September 20th, so I suggest you get your asses in gear, get on down there, use this code. It's going to give you an extra 20% more off the price of 60, making it $47.99 and some tax. So a little over $50 for this pair. No brainer, guys. No brainer. 
Let's open a fortune cookie. Wow, can you guys believe that price? I mean, what they're selling these for and the sound that's coming out of them. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, what? What is that? Uh, guys, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, well, we definitely will not be eating this fortune cookie, but we will definitely read it. Special word is be invited. Not to eat this son of a bitch. Treasure what you have. Of course we treasure what we have. I have you guys, you have me. We should treasure one another. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and skip eating that one. Uh, if you guys have lasted this long in the review, you're either family or there could be a little something wrong with you, but hey, we don't judge here at the table. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe on your way out that door if you are not already. And guys, be sure to catch me in my next video next weekend. See ya.